American Dojo Martial Arts. Today we're going to be doing Cycle 1, Level 3, White Tip 37. Cool. King combination, starting off with good fine stance. Hands up. Back leg is going to go through for you. Side lines. Land forward. Stay kick. Land forward. Front hand, back fist. Back hand, cross punch. From there, switching front kick. Two scoot backs. One, two. From here, other leg. Siding your rhinos, back leg. Land forward. Back leg, spin kick. Land forward. Front hand, back fist. Back hand, cross punch. Switching front kick. Scoot back. Scoot back. Thanks. Dr. Khan here, and this is Dawson Weiss from American Dojo Martial Arts. We're going to be demonstrating the hop keto for uh, red belt level. Uh, this is white tip 37. So what we're dealing with is a wrist grab. Uh, we can do any kind of distraction technique you want. But what we're working on here is what's called a finger roll or finger lock. So I'm going to come on in and grab the top of his wrist here. I'm going to roll my hand low and scoop his fingers on up here. And right about here you get a finger lock. Get him up on his tippy toes and then push him on. Okay? So from there you can do a variety of different things. You don't have to just do leave it just in the finger lock here. You can transition it into what we call shinagi or you can transition it into finger roll here and then transition it into center lock. Okay, another uh, kind of dynamic way of doing this is from a push here. You trap the fingers here and I lock his fingers here. So it's the same lock. You see his fingers bending backwards here. If you look at the grip here, uh, rotating backwards here, it's the same lock but being done from a push instead. Okay, so that makes sense, right? Uh, we're going to be demonstrating the Pro Black for uh, White Tip 37. Uh, this one's a knife attack. Uh, he's grabbing my lapel. He has a knife up to my neck here. So at any point in time, he can slice me. I'm going to make sure my hands come up in a uh, passive position. Uh, this hand, I'm going to purposely keep lower than this arm here so I can actually move it underneath. So my first uh, call to action here is to get this knife away from my neck. Because if I don't, obviously I get cut. So, you know, any kind of technique that grab, tries to grab it, it's not going to work here. Because he's going to pull and slice here. I need to get that blade away from my neck. So that's what that uh, inner block does when I grab it here, pushes that knife away from my neck. I'm gonna grab his hand, the outside rotate into an outside wrist lock, and I'm gonna slice his own neck here. So I can come into his own neck here. And I'm gonna, from here, I'm gonna just raise his arm up here and come into an elbow strike. So you notice what that did, is he had a grip here. That raise up here caused his arm to, to uh, let go here. I come into strike here. When you look at my thumbs, I'm coming into that outside wrist lock here. So if I wanted to, to stay in a standing position, I could come in and disarm here at this bigger point and then come in and, and counter stab him here. Or I can rotate that wrist in the out, full outside wrist lock. As I do that, rotate my body backwards and take him down to the ground. I come in here, I lock his knee, uh, his elbow backwards. I press my knee against his elbow. I still maintain the outside wrist lock and I disarm at this bigger point. At this point, I fall back and do a defensive stance here. So next one, you get rolling. Thank you, Zed. So next uh, defense is going to be gun up to head level or any any level uh, from this uh, chest level, sternum level to head level. It's going to be the same technique. Hands come up in defensive position. There's a back side of the hand and the front side of the hand. There's two different kind of techniques. I could, I could do a different technique for this one. Today, I'm going to be actually moving the gun from pressing it to the back side of the hand, moving it away from my head. So I'm going to move my head away from the gun. At the same time, I'm taking the push the gun away from my head. Now, this is extremely important. I could do an outside wrist lock by just grabbing his hand, but the problem I have is his other hand is going to come up and grab the gun away from me, and now I have this problem here. So what I really want to do here is grab the barrel of the gun. So if he tries to grab it right now, I have more control over that weapon as I rotate into the outside wrist lock. So right now the barrel is pointing it back at him. And I'm going to take that barrel and I'm going to point it down to the ground behind him as I'm going to spin my body around here, cause the outside wrist lock to occur. From here, when I disarm, I take that and twist it out. Make sure I don't twist it back towards my leg because I don't want the barrel ever pointed back at me. I twist out here. I take my, my weapon. I advance the slide one time. And I step back. 20 feet away from him, so I can clear out of the area right away. 